Good morning, class. My name is Claire Sambigana. Today, I will be your teacher. And our topic is all about journalism. So, for your class, what is journalism? Okay, Trisha. Okay, you're all right. Journalism is the activity of gathering, assessing, creating, and presenting news and information. It also the activity of writing news or magazines, uh, writing news in the media or in any social media, and also newspapers, posting stories on the news articles or websites. It's all about letting the world know what is happening in the world or what is going on in the world, okay? And then journalism is what people want to know. It's also if taking pictures and sharing news. Do you understand, class? What is news structure? News structure is a news article are written in a structure known as the inverted pyramid. In the inverted pyramid, the most newsworthy information is at the beginning of the story and the least newsworthy information goes at the end so it mean it means class that um news uh, structure is inverted pyramid meaning baliktad siya ng pyramid so ana siya so ang kinaunhan is the lead which is the very newsworthy diha ibutang tanan kanang information about the article so get small and then we have here an illustration of inverted pyramid but we will focus on the lead because I will be discussing you the examples of lead okay so the main point of the article is the, the five WH questions. The lead paragraph which contains who, what, when, where, why, and how. Okay, class? And the additional essential information is the most the most important information about the topic. So after the lead, there is also additional essential information and the next is the less essential details so but now I will gonna discuss first the lead examples okay I have here an introduction to lead writing for you to know okay every news story begins with an introduction which is called lead Shempre class diba all started with and I'm, with an introduction you know dapat ang introduction so si read mo yung introduction when you will write news writing okay so next is reminding you that it could be a single word phrase a brief sentence or an entire paragraph or a series of paragraphs so example na kung makit ano na very few words na so may lead kanang kinaunhan na mabasahan mo okay and that the good lead answers all important information about the news story so it would, it will become newsworthy if the lead answer all the questions and the important the important information Okay. I have here an examples of leads. First, I have what lead? The oil price will trigger higher food prices. Economists from the University of the Philippines said 
in a symposium last Tuesday. Okay, so it answers the question what? So what is all about? It, it is all about the oil price high. Okay, of course, the readers will be more interested because it talk about the price hike of the oil. Okay, so meaning, nagkag maintresado dire kay as we all know, ang um, oil price or the oil price high is one of the main problem in our country kay syempre mag mas mumuhal ang gasolina mumuhal po ang mga palitunon gets nimo that's it next is when lead one year and three months to go before the 2022 elections in the Philippines okay so when? One year and three months to go. So it also answer with the questions when. Then it is also newsworthy why? Because it will uh, give the interest to Filipino people because it talks about the elections. Because they are curious who will be the next president the next vice or the next senator or even the next barangay officials okay that's it next is we have the howling using his bare hands to kill the snake the soldier saved a six-year-old boy from being bitten okay so how using his bare hands that's it just easy to understand right then next is we have the who lead governor Arthur yesterday said he will visit the United States of America in June so this is also the best example for who lead because we all know that governor Arthur is a well-known person meaning the loose values our presence first is permanence second is proximity permanence why because governor Arkia is our governor and he is well known in the hall right so that's what makes the lead newsworthy and that what makes the lead answers the questions who okay then we have where lead cpg park was filled with g string clad men last saturday in an effort to raise awareness to cultural minorities okay it also answered the questions where at cpg park it's easy to understand that right? So that's what makes the uh, the article the article lead where. The next is why lead a broken water pipe was the cause for the flooding along an area street the past district the other day. So it answers the questions why? Because of a broken water pipe. Okay? Okay class, did you understand my discussion? Or do you have any questions, clarifications, volcanic re up reactions or <laughs> rather? Oh kidding aside. So since you do not have any questions, I will now proceed to our learning activity. It will be individual output. Is it okay to you? Of course! Do you have no choice? Because I am your teacher now. Okay. Now, grow your own writing skills. Write two examples for each lead. But I will 
check the first one today, okay? Next is focus on your paper. So move, guys, and write your own. Okay, class, since you're done, I will read your article and I will correct it if it is wrong. Okay? So I have here the answer of Miss Akuram or the work of Miss Akuram. The who lead. Juanita de la Cruz, 18, a student of the Park Eastern University, died in a car accident along North Express yesterday. Oh, let me take a bit. This is incorrect. Why? Because an effective lead is a single sentence that contains only one idea. Also, leads should emphasize what is the most newsworthy, highlights its news value, what is the strong point of the story? Is it prominence or is it OD? If the protagonist of the story is not a permanent, the rule of thumb is simply to identify the person using common elements rather than his name. So meaning, if Dili Ilado a person, you will use his common name. For example, female, male, or 18 year old, 19 year old, a 19 year old female. That's it. So the correct answer for Miss Akura. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. An 18 year old female student of Far Eastern University died in a car accident along North Expressway yesterday. So, what makes it correct? Because the word an 18 year old female since the victim is not well known or famous we will use the common elements so i have here the work of miss salam a mcdonald's outlet in Cabal was held up around allegedly robbing a mcdonald's outlet in Cabal. Oh, this is incorrect. Why? Because this also reports the story most recent developments. A new, a new story begins its narration from the ending. We don't write that a man held up a restaurant when that man had already been apprehended or that a person was injured when he had already died. Okay? So the correct answer here is a man who was apprehended by police at dawn for allegedly robbing a McDonald's outlet in Cuba. Then, we have the work of Ms. Ikeko, the who lead, Joshua Garcia and Jolia Baratton were the main cast of the music video of the popular Paobaya. This is correct because it is newsworthy. Why? Because one of the news values is present, which is the prominence. Why prominence? Because Joshua Garcia and Jolia Barreto are well known and famous. Because, of course, we all know that Joshua Garcia is an actor and Jolia Barreto is an actress. That what makes the news newsworthy which is it answers the questions who okay next is we have the mess menace work results of a survey showing Filipinos perception in government corruption was released by the social weather station yesterday 
this is also incorrect. Why? Because the lid should be action oriented. Developments. A new story begins. What the story or the the telling you are telling the readers what the story is and not merely what the story is about. For instance, the correct answer is the Bureau of Custom was deemed the most corrupt by Philippines. A survey by the social weather station revealed yesterday. So again, correct answer. The view of customs was deemed the most corrupt by Filipinos. A survey by the social weather station revealed yesterday. Did you get it? Now, let's proceed to the next activity. We have the assessment. Yes, of course. Using your own brilliant ideas, write five examples of events, issues, ideas, which are newsworthy, and five which are not. Okay, class? I will give you the rest of the time. Okay, class, are you done? Oh, you're not done, but because it is already time, we will continue that next meeting. But uh, kindly pass your papers because I will sign that. Okay. Thank you. So that's all for today, class. Keep safe. Thank you for coming. Bye. God bless. Take care always. I hope you learned something today.